YouTube. Welcome back to WTFRC Cars. Right, we've got uh, a new addition to the channel. So we've got the GNSS Satellite uh, Performance Analyzer. It's another SkyRC product, so it's a GSM 020. Uh, you've got a nice little barcode here. And although it says Google Play and Apple Store, this actually takes you to SkyRC's site and you have to download an APK. So, if you don't know how to install an APK, just Google installing, I think it's installing APK untrusted. Because um, basically what you have to do is, you have to download this to your phone, then go into your downloads folder. Once you're in your downloads folder, you double click on it and it'll warn you if you've got allow from non non-secure location install um, but yeah entirely up to you if you trust putting it on a phone that you do your online banking on but that's an entirely different video um, so yeah you download the app install it to your phone and then this has got a little battery and a bit of memory in it so let's see what it says so you can measure your speed and everything g-force uh, barometer so it'll go up to, I don't think I'll be jumping a car up to 29,500 feet, but you never know. <laughs> and then you also get the USB cable and some destructions that I'm guessing most people never read, me included. But let's get this open and have a closer look. Right, so after opening the instructions, what I would do is go and download that version. So just search SkyRC and it'll come up in the uh, App Store. But it's a slightly different logo to that one. There is one that's named GNSS with that logo, but the one that's named GNSS PA has a slightly different logo, but it does work, I've just tried it. And I'll put a screenshot if I can remember. Um, so basically, you charge in, it says it could take up to three hours, it'll run for six hours on one charge, um, it'll last in standby mode for up to two weeks. Um, now, I did initially look around this thing and there's no power, no power button. Um, but when you turn the app off, it actually asks you if you want to turn the device off. So it closes, if you just swipe the app off, I don't believe it tells the device to go into shutdown. If you close out the the app using the off function, it then switches the device off back into standby mode. Stop it draining your battery. Um, but a quick look at uh, what we've got in instructions. Gives you a few features that it does. Um, the Bluetooth tells you it's blue when it's connected, off when it's disconnected. The GPS link... Um, so green when it's got a fixed position so don't get shooting off thinking you're gonna do a speed run if the lights just uh, not on or not green because it ain't got a lock on enough satellites um, power so solid white when it's on uh, no light at all when it's off or in standby slow blinking like that means it's charging and if it's blinking like mad it's about to go flat so that's nice and straightforward. Uh, we've covered uh, where to get the app from. You can, if you don't have, if you have an Android device and you don't have the uh, Play Store, you can download the um, app by using the QR code, and it will download to your device. And then you have to activate the, I think it's in, install from unsecure locations option in your security settings, and that'll let you install the app. Um, just a quick of how you connect it. Um, how the, all I did on mine is turn Bluetooth off on 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 sorry on my phone, open the app, and then it came up and it just lets you see the device. You click it and it just connects like that. Um, and then I have tried closing the app down, disconnecting, and then every time you fire app up with Bluetooth on, it just finds it straight away. Um, don't think. There's a whole lot more we need to cover on it at the moment. Um, just a bit of instruction telling you how you can do various tests. So you've got your track performance test and everything. I'll just stay on that for a minute. And you can pause it and have a read if you like. Uh, there's one up here for flying. 
And then just your standard warranty bump. Now it does come with a USB cable, it's a micro USB and any other micro USBs will fit for it. So that's the device you get and that's the little USB. I've got a really long charge lead so I can make a video of it. And that's the back of the device. But yeah, it's not uh, not too big. Should be nice and easy to fit. Uh, master reset button in case you do run into issues and you need to reset the whole thing. Uh, once you're inside the app, you can go into the settings menu and it will show you what firmware it's running. Haven't yet found a way to update the firmware. Not sure if that's an option. Uh, it certainly doesn't look like it is in app initially. But uh, I know some of the SkyRC products including the chargers, you can actually download a firmware update app on the PC, connect them, and then update the firmware from a PC. So this might be the same. I'm going to have to do a bit of digging about with it. Um, but yeah, quite an impressive little bit of kit. So hopefully we should have some fun with this. But if you like the video, like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can see when we get up to some other crazy antics trying to use this device. And I'll catch you guys again in the next one.